to another edition of Stoke Haunted. Tonight we're in York and we'll investigate the supposedly most haunted pub in the UK. Here at the Golden Fleece, it is rumoured to have five resident spirits and ten who come in visitation. Tonight we are here to find that out for ourselves and see what we can capture on camera. Many of York's ghost sightings have been reported from this very building. Tonight we're going back to basics. We have no paranormal equipment and no scientific equipment. Just me and another team member and a camcorder. We're going to try an old fashioned investigation. Peckett is said to be the most common spirit seen in the Golden Fleece. Her husband John owned the building, so I can see why she would stay here. The public house was built in 1503, and the most common spirit that is seen here is Lady Alice Peckett. Her husband John once owned the building. I hope we see her tonight. During the early hours of the night, many guests have jumped out of their bed as they believe Lady Peckett has manifested in this mirror. It is said that Lady Alice Peckins wants the world to see her, and that is why she manifests herself in this mirror. This is the bed where many guests have reported the bed sheets pulling from beneath them by an unknown spirit. Will this happen to us tonight? Due to no trained mediums being present tonight, we find it far too dangerous to conduct experiments such as glass spinning and seances. Come and join us on tonight's investigation in the Golden Fleece in York. With this tiny room only being discovered in the year 2000, little is known about its history. These taps are reported to have been turned on and off by themselves for unknown reasons. So how are you feeling about tonight's investigation? Well, to be honest with you, because you're a paranormal investigator, people just suddenly assume that you're not scared of anything. And in all honesty, since walking in this room, I feel anxious because if somebody's watching you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just me because of the history of the place, but as I said, it's just as if the eyes are always on you. So, yeah, I'm anxious, but it's not, it's not like me, it's not like my character. Because I can usually, as you all know, shove me in a, in a room and I'll do a long vigil for an hour with a camcorder but in here I just feel a bit on, on edge What do you think about the lady being seen in the mirror? I hope we see her I don't think that's what we're here for I mean, I've travelled, we've travelled all the way from Stockport to see things I hope she can appear for us I will be very thankful she can anything we get I'm going to be grateful for tonight how are you feeling about get, getting privileged access to the downstairs area? Well, to be honest, I mean, I'm very, very grateful to the staff for letting us down there anyway, because they'll all be off in bed and we'll be running around the pub. Um, they're very trusty and recommend any paranormal group to come and investigate this place because just the feeling you get when you're in here, it's just like something's awaiting all the time. Do you think we'll get much without all the other equipment? Um, I just wanted to try an experiment where we, well, an investigation, sorry, where we're going back to basics. Because, I don't know, sometimes I feel, maybe if, if I was a spirit, I'd be all phased by all the flashing lights. And you, you don't know what's going on if they're just used to, used to the things in their time and their era. They're not going to know what a dictaphone is or what an EMF meter is. And they say, can you make the lights dance? Maybe they think you what they're talking about. So if I could just call out and say, is there anybody here? Can you make a noise for us or just show yourself in the best way that you can? Then maybe we'll get more activity, I don't know. Hopefully. Look at this, a true paranormal investigator in bed. You lazy gay. We've not even started yet. Look you now. Can you believe this? I've taken her all the way to York for a paranormal investigation and look at her. What are you 
She sat watching Coronation Street. Have you heard this, Andy? Can you make her a brew? Okay, now. <laughs>